What I want to talk about now is code view. Yes, code view. People tend to kind of panic when I say that, but don't worry about it. We won't be digging into the code, typing it all out, but you certainly need to begin to get familiar with coding when you're working on the web nowadays. Back when the web was pretty basic, you really didn't have to deal with it too much. But if you do want to get into working more with websites, you will be ending up looking at some of the code, and throughout the course, I'll make you a little bit familiar with some pieces of it. So what I have is Dreamweaver open. I've modified the preferences within the program. Right now, I have CSS Designer open, but I'll go ahead and open up files by clicking on it. I'm not really going to be doing anything in this area anyway, but these are the various panels that can be accessed through the window menu. What I want to show you now is I have a blank page open and I'm in design view. You can see that's highlighted. So there's nothing showing because this is a blank page. But if I move into code view, you'll see within this area, there are a couple of pieces here that are meant to assist you. And I wanna make you aware of these and what they are before we actually take a look at them. So if I reference it, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to close up this properties area. You can see this toolbar has this little down arrow right now because I don't quite have enough vertical space. So I'll go ahead and close up this insert bar up across the top. And I'm just doing this so you have more space to be able to view what I'm doing. So I'll go up to window and choose insert. That closes up my insert bar at the top. I'm also going to right click this properties area and close that up as well. So I have a lot more space within my document window and that's this area here. That's what we reference it as, the actual document portion. And now you can see the full toolbar on the left-hand side. Now you can see there are all these different little icons. Basically in Dreamweaver, if you aren't sure what it is, hover your mouse on it, and you'll get some type of tooltip that pops up. So there are a lot of icons in here, and we don't necessarily have to worry about too many of them, but I wanted to make you aware that this is called the coding toolbar. And there's one area within the coding toolbar that can come in very handy, and that's these two icons here. Apply a comment and remove a comment but there's quite a few others as you get a little more comfortable working in Dreamweaver that you will want to go ahead and explore. The other piece within the coding environment is this listing here in the blue area, and these are known as line numbers. And I may reference these as we move throughout the course. So if I'm in code view, you can see the line numbers are showing. So what I can do is click on a number and it selects that entire line of code. When I do that, you can see I get this little minus also. And if I click on that, what it does is tend to collapse an area. So let me show you a little bit wider portion of that. What I'm going to do is select the code in line three through line six. Within this line number area, I can click on the minus, and what that does is basically collapse that section and hides it, puts it away. You just click the plus sign to expand it, or you can use these options over here to collapse and expand. This is so simple, I can just click the plus sign. But if you're starting to become familiar with code, I tend to find it's very helpful to collapse pieces of code to kind of hide it away so it doesn't get in the way of your viewing the actual code you want to see. So what I basically just did was collapse the head section. And you can see if I hover over it, it shows it to me, which is a really nice feature in case you can't remember what it was you collapsed. I'll hit the plus sign to reopen that area. So that's what this little line is for, to help you expand or collapse code to hide it away, at least for the time being, so you can get to the information you need. Just to the left of that are the line numbers. And if you want to select a line, you can click the line number 
and that perfectly selects that entire line of code. Right now our lines are pretty short, but when you get long lines of code that tend to wrap to the next line, being able to select your lines of code or even multiple lines of code, and I just held my mouse down, selected one line, and dragged. And you can see that allows you to select quite a bit of the code at the same time, very quick and easily. Instead of trying to go over here and perfectly select the code using my mouse, it's much easier to use this blue area to do it. So you may see me end up doing that during the course. So this is known as the coding toolbar. This is the line number area. And if I'm in split view, you can see they're both available. If I'm in code view, they're clearly available. But if I move into strictly design, they disappear. In design view, the code disappears for you. Now one other piece, if I'm in split view, you can see this is done vertically. And if I go over to the view menu, there is something here that says split vertically, and that's the default. What I'm going to do is uncheck this, and that allows me to split it horizontally so I can see more of the width of the page at the same time above and below. And I tend to find when I'm trying to show things to people, being able to view the full width is much more helpful to them than just seeing little pieces of it. So I'm going to keep it horizontally split. If I wanted to go back to the vertical split, I would just select this again from the view menu. But those are a few little features of specifically code view, and those do transfer over to split view within the code portion. Those features do disappear when you're in design view because you're no longer looking at any of the code. But basically that's the coding toolbar and the line number area that allows you to work a little more efficiently within code view for Dreamweaver.